it's caught in the crossfire. For my newbies, um, I just wanted to show you this. This is post-jail. This is Shani out of jail after she was arrested for domestic violence. Um, the arrest I will show you in length also, but watch this. I'm very, very alone. But I got good, I got good news. Um, I can pick my kids up from school and bring them home so I can see my kids. So that's good. Shani, nobody has any sympathy for you, so put the fake crocodile tears away because you don't care about anyone but yourself. You're such a victim. I can see my kids, you know, but I miss my husband so much. And I know him, he's doing everything he can to get me back. I know him. But I, I, I need my husband. He's, he's my best friend, he's my rock. And I miss him terribly, and I know he misses me. And it's not good that he's without me because I am also his rock. We're both each other's rocks and we need each other. Because we're all we have. And we can't be together. And it's hard, it's hard, it's really hard. And I can't talk to him. It's like, all you want to do is, is be with him. It's like Romeo and Juliet. Wanting to be with the one you love. And not being able to talk to them or touch them. You know, it was a little different when me and Jason were doing our long distance relationship. You know, at least we could talk to each other. Now it's like, we're just spiritually there for each other. I feel him. I know he feels me. It's just hard and I have no one to talk to. You know, I never knew. Call the police. Just to get some fucking mental help would have caused all this. You know, it's almost like the police were like pushing to see if there was a domestic issue. Like, did he hit you? Did he do this to you? Did he do this to you? They weren't looking for a reason to arrest you. That's their job. They have to take you out of the house when there is a domestic violence situation going on. You hit him with something that could be considered a weapon, therefore it's assault. Learn your own charges and learn while you were arrested instead of coming on here playing, you know, oh, I didn't do anything wrong. And, and no, you did. You put you, you did something wrong to your boyfriend. Because the city I live in put a fucking restraining order on us. And we both don't want it. I saw Jason in court today. He's trying to get that restraining order off, too. So, both of us don't want this. What is the court status? They, the DA wants to take me for everything I got. Um, I don't think it works that way. <laughs> I don't think the DA is going to take you for everything you got. I think you committed a crime called assault. And I think and they're going to hold you I don't you know how he fucking has it. a case at all. If me and Jason both say... We don't want this. How, 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 how is the DA supposed to file something if none of the parties are in agreement of what happened? But you can't do that. That's fucking stupid. If I said something like that didn't happen and Jason said something like that didn't happen, I don't know how the court can go any further other than trying to rip us off of any Um, there's this thing in America. It's called laws. <laughs> and if you break one of them, you go to jail or you get some kind of penalty for breaking it. In your situation, you called the cops because Jason was acting unstable and belligerent and was trying to take the keys and you were afraid of him and ba 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 and who left with the abuse uh charge you did you did shannon so um it doesn't matter if you and him both say nothing happened the cops saw exactly what happened by looking at rev's leg so you can deny this all you want and play victim but it really won't matter in the long run because this is the way the cookie crumbles. Keep your hands to yourself. Both of you need to keep your hands to yourselves and you neither one have been in this situation at all. Well, but, oh well. That's the only reason why I see them doing this. It's for money. But I'm willing to put a bunch of fucking money on a fucking lawyer. I will put $5,000 on a fucking lawyer retainer. Easily, man. Easily. So with Rev's money, you're gonna get an attorney that's gonna help you get out of hitting him? <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. You're, you guys are one of those sue happy people. Anytime something doesn't go your way, you're ready to sue the. Now you're suing the city for you being arrested for assault when you, after you assaulted someone. It's into amazing. Our story, it was like almost so like trying to push a certain are. scenario just to get me into fucking jail. And, and Jason said nothing happened, and he didn't want me to go to jail. Thank you, Betsy. Thank you, Wise Guy. Please pray for me. I need prayer. 
Again, that's not how the laws in this country work. It doesn't matter who says what. The cop did enough investigation to decide you did something wrong. The end. You know, I don't know how, how you have a fucking file if both parties are saying nothing fucking happened, DA. If both parties don't want it to happen, I don't know how you can have a fucking case at all. All you want is money, and that's all it is. And I'm going to fuck you DA. And now I got, like, family court in the way. You know, and I have to be dealing with CPS again, which is fine. I've dealt with CPS so many times. I'm not worried dealt about with them easy. so many times and they're easy. <laughs> How did that work out for you? How did that way of thinking turn out for you? Your household at this time was nothing but an abusive, toxic gutter. But you you and CPS are, are just fine. Yeah, I know. That's why your kids are in foster care right now, in a foster home. Because no one in your house could keep their hands to themselves, meaning really just you and Rev. To deal with. You know, and it's not like I'm unwilling to work with them because I'm very willing to work with every party. I want to, I want to go and take anger management classes. I want to go back and dialectic behavior therapy. Dialectic so, behavioral therapy is, is not what you need. Anger management is what you need, but you never did either one of those things that you just mentioned. So why even bother bringing it up if you have no intentions of actually doing either of those things? Shaking my head. But at the same time, I know this whole thing that happened is fucking bullshit. And both of us are something when both parties are saying nothing happened so go ahead go ahead try both parties are saying nothing happened so go ahead <laughs> make your moves last case you know whatever it's just like i don't i don't get why the police do that you know you hear a 911 call i need help i'm having a mental problem and they automatically assume it's like this domestic thing and it's like i need to go i need help you know i need help Hello? Well, throw me in jail and put me fucking domestic assault. But they don't have oh, is your accountability button broken again? Um, you didn't call and ask for mental help. You called about Rev wanting the keys to the car and he was mental here, so I guess that's what they only could fucking do. Throw a woman naked on a fucking concrete floor for over 24 hours in a very lighted glass screened area where the inmates could see you. Men and women, by the way. Now, go ahead. Jail's not supposed to be comfortable, sweetheart. They don't. They they do that on purpose so you don't want to come back, so you don't commit more crimes. They make it as unpleasant as possible. That's how jail works. So I mean, if if you want to do it the legal way and you want us to sue your pants off, fine, go ahead. I know you're hearing it. I don't, I don't care if you don't like me either. I don't care. It will be rectified though, in Jesus Christ's name. Because if both parties ain't gonna work with you, DA, you got no case. If the alleged victim say nothing happened, what case do you have? What case do they have if the alleged victim says nothing happened? Whatever. You know, is it illegal to do sex play in this state? And if it is illegal... You guys weren't using that thing for sexual purposes. Oh god, that grossed me out to even say. You hit him with that. You were both very upset and both very agitated. There was no sex play involved. You did it to hurt him. What was that? I'm not gonna say it. I'm just curious. What Shani fails to understand is that it's the state of Colorado versus her, not Jason versus her. He can say he doesn't want it all he wants. It doesn't matter. You broke the law, period. Thank you. I might do that, actually. Um, yeah, the boys are with Jason. I can pick them up from school and drop them off. I'll be doing that in an hour or so. Um... Try to get those tears going, Shani. Really, really go for the sympathy card with this one. Pull hard on that one. Try to get some tears out. I miss him so fucking much. You know, when you call the police asking for help, it's not like throw them in jail or throw the person in jail. It's like, hey, I need mental help. Take me to the hospital. I have the 911 call and you were blaming it all on Jason, saying you were afraid of him, saying he was acting crazy and you wanted someone to come and help with him. N nothing well, about, nothing about oh, mental health jail. mentioned. We're going to slap a domestic assault on you too for sex play. Boy, you whip your wife with a whip? Oh, he whips you with a whip? Oh, it's got to be domestic violence. Hitting anyone with an object is assault. You guys weren't in the middle of having sex. You were in the middle of having a huge fight. He was outside. You were inside. There was no sex going on. Stop lying. Good lord. Idiots. Whatever. We got no fucking case if both of us aren't gonna work with them. I don't know how the boys are dealing with this. I haven't seen them or talked to them. 
I'll find oh, out when I pick them up from school today. But they do have a case. They have a case all on you. Nice try, though. I'm sure they're sad, but they're tough fucking boys, dude. They can fucking handle anything. I don't think I'll pick them up for the weekend and, like, take them to the pool here, let them swim a little bit. I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave them at the house and chill. Like me, I just want, I just want to sleep and rest, but it's, like, I can't eat. I can't sleep. My stomach is so fucking nervous that, again, I shot myself. Oh, I'm sorry, what was that? <laughs> you did what again? Oh, we didn't need to know that information. I'm just having really bad diarrhea. It feels like, I know we're not broken up, okay? We're not. But it feels like one. It feels like one because when you're not with the one that you love. But it's okay, you know, people in the Navy do it. People in the Army do it and separate from their family members for a while. You know, and I think it's... Okay, uh, is she really comparing someone deploying to go fight for our country to her having to stay away from Rev for a while because she got slappy with him? Speaking as an army wife of six years, um, I can tell you that that's not a good comparison at all. Not even close to the same thing. I think this is all going to be over within the week and I'm going to be back with Jason. When you're on an adventure at a hotel, <laughs> you know. It's funny, it's like a really fucking fancy hotel, but it's like it's the Hilton. It's the Embassy Suites at the Hilton. But, even though it's at the Embassy Suites at the Hilton, it's fairly pretty reasonable and it's the cheapest in the area. It's only 137 a night. It looks like a Roach Motel to me, Shani. It doesn't look like any Embassy Suites I've ever seen. <laughs> it's awesome. You know, I, I, I've paid way more a day in marijuana and I can't do marijuana anymore. So it's like I'm saving money doing this than actually going to, you know, whatever. Anyway, I'm going to be leaving. All right. Oh my God. It doesn't stop. All right. Sorry about that. I'm back. It just doesn't stop. All right. So I need to try to calm my ass down and relax. I have to pick up my boys soon, so there's that, so I get to see my boys, I get to see my husband. My email, it should be s-e-g-a-t-t-i-s-07 at gmail.com. Thank you. I do need people to talk to at this moment. I never wanted this to happen. I did not want this to happen. Well, this is what happens when you get slappy with your significant other. The cops come and they take you away for domestic violence. That's what happened to you. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why the police stop. Is this proper to do? Like, what shitty fucking decisions they made. And Spoken like a true malignant narcissist. They made bad choices. I think you made bad choices and that's why you got arrested. I wasn't even interrogated. I wasn't interrogated. I wasn't read my Miranda rights. They didn't interrogate you? you you're not uh, a, a suspect for a murder, so I don't know what you'd be interrogated about. Um, they came there, they did an assessment of the situation, and they made their decisions based on that assessment. That's how the law works. I didn't get any of that. I didn't get a phone call. I didn't get any I was stripped down naked and thrown on a concrete floor. If you all knew Shani as well as I do, you would know that this, her being thrown into a, um, a cell for people who are suicidal is based on the things that were probably coming out of her mouth. Like, I just want to go to Jesus. I can only imagine the, the, n the nonsense that was coming out of her mouth while she was there. And she probably did talk about hurting herself, which is why they put her in a suicide watch cell instead of a regular one where she would have had access to a phone call and all the things that she's complaining she never got. Never everyone see me, like an animal, like a caged fucking animal. Nah, nah man, I'm gonna get my lawyer and I'm gonna sue the living shit out of Boulder County. I'm going to sue the living fuck out of them for what they've done to us. And trust me, Jason's going to be four and down with that, too. You're going to sue the city under what conditions? What would you sue the city for? Falsely arresting you because they had every right to arrest you. So try again. Maybe do some research into it before you open your fucking mouth. F-E-G-A-T-T. -T. Let me just write it down. It makes it easier for you.
But um, I don't even have. I need to go to the store and get clothes too. I don't even have clothes. I am like I am the computer because thank God, Jason left the keys and the computer and everything in the car. Because he loves me. I don't know. Maybe I should open up a hangout. Talk to some people. Try to chill out. Oh, I saw. I don't know what happened. Can someone explain? I saw that marked by God is gone. Is Gmail gone? Like, I noticed his page is gone. I don't know what happened. So, beyond me, I don't know what's going on. In the well, that's the response of a guilty person. Who said you had anything to do with it, Jenny? Who said you had anything to do with it? Tell on yourself, YouTube though. World. I just been dealing with my own fucking shit. I did see that Genian was gone. Like, what? I saw that. I saw a while that YouTube was burying Genian's page, but his mark by God is gone. He was on earlier? What did he do to fuck up his channel? Look at the smile on her face. She's so happy that G-Man's channel appears to be gone. She's so enjoying that thought that he did something wrong. But no, Shani, <laughs> he didn't do anything well, in comparison to what he did. all his freaking dropping off to me. You know, I don't even have my Bible. I'd like to get a Bible. Like last night, I was I was cuddling the pill, pill, pillows. And, um... I had the Bible on. Listen to, to sleep. Well, I was listening to the Bible all night, sleeping, cuddling the pillows, pretending it was my man. It doesn't work very well, pretending the pillow is my man. He probably was doing the same, knowing him. Because we really do love each other, truly. Okay. We truly do love each other. And I know he loves me. Okay, thank you. I, I know he loves me. Well, actually, I, I don't think so, because I gotta pick up my son from school, but thank you. He was there at the courthouse and saying he loved me the whole time. I'm gonna be there for you, baby. I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna get you out of this. You know, so I know he's contacting lawyers right now and he has the money. He doesn't have enough money to erase what you did to him. Therefore, you have no case. So looking up lawyers for what? You sound ridiculous right now. Ridiculous. <laughs> okay, thank you. I mean, I know um, he's transferred money over onto my checking account, so I'm okay. Yeah, Shani, it's amazing, isn't it? He, you hit him, you get arrested, and he's the one sending money to your bank account so you have money. God, the stupidity of you both. And he'll keep fucking sending money to me. He ain't ever going to stop that. Uh, he's going to stop that when you blow through the inheritance that he got, the both of you. So, yeah, he's going to stop real soon, actually. So, he only have a joint account anyway. So, I'm fine with money. I'm just heartbroken. It does feel like it, we're, I, it, we're just together, but it feel, we can't talk to each other. I think that's what it feels like. A, it feels like a breakup. It really does feel like a breakup. And I love that man more than anything. I love him. Guess what, Shani? Love doesn't hurt. You know where I heard that? A domestic violence class. Um, you don't love anyone but yourself. If you loved him so much, you would have never put any kind of hands on him or you never would have hit him with anything. That's not love, Shannon. That man. So Monday, I'm going to start making calls to see if I can get into anger management. You just need time to enjoy your time with God. Sometimes things happen to make us stronger. It's just a test. I know. I know it is. I know it's Satan pulling his fucking punches, not wanting these two people together. You know, I didn't think sex play would cause something like this. So you called 911 complaining about Jason being drunk and being uh, unstable. And you you mean to tell me that in between the time that call was made and the cops came, you guys were having sex now? Okay, that's believable. Did you use a whip? You said you whip him. Yeah, it's sex play. Yeah, you hit him in the face? Yeah. It's sex play. Oh, we're gonna put you under arrest. What the fuck? I just wanted help with my mental status. I just wanted to go to the emergency room so I could go get a fucking out of van. That makes so much sense. And when you guys watch the arrest video, you'll see why. Because she kept complaining about her chest being so tight. She couldn't breathe. She wanted that. She wanted to go to the hospital for pills. That's what she wanted because she kept asking the cops, Am I going to the hospital? No, bitch, you're going to jail. Like everyone else that commits a crime. The ER is not your personal uh, pharmacy, Shani. So I, I don't see where you go get off asking for an Ativan. Get it's a life. Real it's getting real road by the system. 
Fake sex play should not be illegal. I, I, I recall it wasn't. Is it illegal? Is it illegal? Like, you can't spank your spouse or use a whip on them? I mean, seriously, you can't do that? That's a domestic assault? What is no, you can't use a sex toy to hit someone with when you're using it in a violent manner. That's not allowed. That's a, that's assault. I, I'm I'm sure if somebody hit you with a dildo hard enough, there's some of them out there that could definitely knock you out. <laughs> Still a crime, though, Shani. It's consensual? I don't get it. One minute. I think she's taking a very important call from the person she's supposed to have no contact with because who else would be calling her right now? <laughs> We're going to skip past this uh, beautiful curtain. Okay. This sucks. This sucks. So bad. So, CBS will be coming over my house, apparently. Looking at it. Um, I don't know. I might be bringing the boys over to this hotel room for the night. Um, I definitely need to go and put in another few days into this hotel room. My heart hurts so bad. I called 911. Wanting to get mental health. That Shani didn't think anyone would get record of her 911 call, but I'm going to play it for you guys right now, and you tell me if she was asking for mental health. Hold on, 911, what if you have your emergency? I have been broke right now in passing delirious, and he's been hitting me, and I need some fucking help. Okay, does he have any weapons? <laughs> no, he has no weapons. He's begging me to get him the car keys, and I'm not getting the car keys when he's fucking drunk. I just want to go to bed. Oh, 
<laughs> you're not private when you're drunk. Shannon, I don't want you to argue with him anymore. I have help coming, okay? Okay. You've got a lot of help. I'm so sorry. I can't stand this anymore. And this has happened before? It has. And I got him off alcohol, and then he drank tonight, and then he tried to put the crazy again. Okay. All right. I'm your kids are safe though right now because I'm worried about everybody in the house. They are. They're sleeping. They're, they're asleep. Okay. I was asleep until he busted in my room. Okay. And he doesn't have to be No. No. I don't want to go to sleep. I understand. I've got help coming tonight, okay? And you're not bleeding right from anywhere? No. Okay. It's tired. And my house is a mess now. I'm glad that you're not arguing with him anymore. I appreciate you helping me and staying away from him, okay? I don't want it to get any more escalated. I don't want to wake up the kids. We've got I don't know what's wrong with you. You think you might be having some mental issues tonight, too? Oh, this is definitely a mental issue. Okay. This is not in normally. He's delirious. Okay. So after listening to a part of this, does it sound like she's calling and asking for mental health for herself? Or does it sound like she's calling on her boyfriend who is acting belligerent and she's trying to get him in trouble? And she didn't ask for mental health for herself. Have you said he's delirious? Is he seeing things? Is he talking about different things? Or is he just fixated on the car? He's fixated on the car. And he hears something coming and then I don't know if it's like alcohol intoxication or like schizophrenia. I don't know what it is. Okay. But it's so good. I've got a lot of people coming. Okay, I'm gonna let you know when they get close. Do we need a code to get into your building? No. Okay. You're on the hospital. Why are you frightening me? Oh my God. Shannon. Shannon, look I can't here. do this. I can't do this. I want to go to bed. Shannon, I need your help real quick. Listen, okay. is Jason white, black, Asian, or Hispanic? He's white. Okay, what's he wearing tonight? He's wearing some shorts and a red Hawaiian t-shirt. Okay, what color is his shorts? Uh, black or gray. Okay. And tell me, is Jason tall, medium, short? He's uh, Five nine. Okay. And tell me if he's medium, how do you skinny? Medium. Okay. And he has a left apartment yet, he's still in there with you? Oh, yeah. He is. Okay. I just want to go to bed, I'm so tired. I understand. It's really a lot to go through. I, I'm so sorry it's happening tonight. My officers are getting pretty close right now. They're at Canyon and 26. We were just running really busy. I didn't have anybody closer, but they should be with you pretty shortly, okay? They're still coming. Okay. And I'm going to stay with you until they get there. And you're doing a great job. Thank you for not arguing with them. Thank you for kind of trying to stay separated so we can get you guys the help you need tonight. I mean, I'm walking. It's just the alcohol. Every time he gets it, in his system, it, he goes crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there are people that happen with I'm sorry it's happening tonight. Okay. 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 So. I'm telling you, it was only like three drinks that the movie theater do. Okay. It's like a beer, like one of those like daiquiri things, and like an angry orchard, and that's it. And he had my fucking psycho over that. Okay. It's so weird. They're almost there. Three drinks, and you act like that. I like. I'm so scared. And I'm glad that you're not, you know, arguing with them right now. Just stay separated. I'll let you know as soon as they get closer. Okay. Yeah. So just stay where you are for right now. Have the police ever responded before? Um, no. Okay. <laughs> so as you can see, Shani is not asking for mental help. She's not asking for that. She's asking. She's basically putting Jason out, hanging Jason out to dry. She's again the victim. And he's the big monster that's been hitting her and doing all of these things, which maybe he did. I don't know, but I doubt it. Um... I think that this is disgusting, absolutely disgusting to go and say all of these things after you just heard what she said post jail. Because after that phone call, they came, they arrested her, which I'm going to do a whole video on that for you guys. I know this stuff is a little backwards, but hang in there with me. Um, and she called 911 to get him arrested. She said every horrible thing about him she could. He's violent. She's scared of him. Um, he, he's acting crazy. He's hearing voices. Well, what about you, Shannon? 
What have you done to contribute to this? Because I'm sure you did something. It's a long time this happened. Uh, it's been over a year. Over a year. Yeah. I mean, I love him. I can't, I can't tolerate my health opening this last thing in the middle of the freaking night because he keeps going. I understand, too. Yeah, you can't live like this. I'm glad you called for help, and maybe I'll be able to get him the help that he's needing as well. Yeah. <laughs> the most important thing is just to get some people there, and they do have a lot of resources they can offer. Good. He needs it. Yeah, they do that. I need to go to bed. I need sleep. I'm having chest pains. You're having chest pains? Yeah, I think it's the anxiety, though. Okay. I'm going to have an ambulance head that way and check on you. Okay? You don't have to. I know it's anxiety. Don't worry. It's a okay. okay. So if you don't, if they just come and check you out and they don't transfer oh. you, it's completely free. There's no charge for it, okay? So I'm going to have them head that way. I'm just a little worried about the chest pain, so let's make sure we get them to come and check you out and make sure everything's okay. Okay. So. I don't know why, maybe no. My officers are arrival, and they should be making their way up on foot. Can you go check if that front door is unlocked? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's okay, they'll be there in just a minute, okay? They just make their way up on foot, so sometimes they're a little, they park away from the house for their own safety, and they see them on foot and up to their car. Are there different sides to the building? Are there any different entrances they could go to? No. Okay. Okay. Are you just checking your family out? Sure. Are you still talking to Jason? Is that Jason you're talking to? I can't. I can't talk to him. No, I don't want you to. It's not going to help anything tonight. We're going to get you some help, though. I don't. I just want to go on tonight. Why can't you fucking please not be looking around? I understand. Like, he goes to these bouts. I don't know what it is. It's like almost like mania. He gets manic and he starts like standing up in the middle of the night and like just starts in the household and stuff and mm -hmm. like I don't know what that means. Yeah, yeah, it definitely might be a sign of some other mental health issues. I mean, I, I don't think that you're, I don't think you're imagining any of this. I think it's definitely something you should look into because those are kind of some of the signs of him. You might want to have a doctor talk to him. I know he's probably not willing to do that when he's like this, but maybe this will be the catalyst to help get him some help. I hope so. We should be with you any minute now. Call me my sister. I'm coming. Hi. Hi. Okay, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you go. What happened? I wanted to get mental health. Now, did that sound like a woman who was just having some fun with her boyfriend with a fetish whip? Or does that sound like she was calling to get Rev arrested? Because that's what it sounds like to me. And I got arrested and put in jail for domestic assault. Because the police were like pushing this domestic assault thing. And really what it was was a woman who needed mental health. But I got treated so poorly, and I do need to get a fucking lawyer. And me and Jason, I know he's working on getting one right now. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of this bullshit. You know, I just want my family. I just want my fucking family. It's like the government doesn't want us together. <laughs> the government doesn't want you and Jason together. Rethink that statement because you sound like a fucking fool. Like he didn't press charges. Jason didn't press charges. I didn't press charges. The police pressed charges on something they made up. The cops didn't make up anything because we just all saw him, the cops look at Rev's leg and see that he was struck with a fetish whip by your ass. 
Also, it doesn't work like that. Just because Jason didn't want to press charges doesn't mean the state's not going to press charges against you for breaking the law. How do you know so little about law? Really? No, I'm going to sue the fuck out of them. It's a test, Shani. I'm going to sue the fuck out of Boulder for this. You're going to sue the fuck out of Boulder County for this? For them arresting you after you got all slappy with Jason? You won't win. And you didn't win, as this is in the past. So how'd that work out for you, dumbass? Like someone calls for help. I called for help not to be arrested on some made-up charge that you guys made up. Excuse me? Uh, people on YouTube made up a charge and then sent the police over there to arrest you? We did all that? The people on YouTube who watch you? God, you're fucking delusional. Is it that hard to say I fucked up, I drank too much, and I got violent? Is it that hard to own up to what you did? As soon as this is done, we are gone. As true of a statement as that is, uh, you won't be leaving on your own terms. You'll be leaving on the terms of getting evicted. Enjoy that. I definitely have grounds to sue. I wasn't read my Miranda rights. I wasn't interrogated. I wasn't given a phone call. I had no rights. I had no rights. Interrogated for what? You didn't murder anybody. And I love how you think that they didn't read your Miranda rights. Therefore means you can sue them. It doesn't work like that either. And I want everyone to hear. I told them they're going to hear about it. I told them they're going to hear this shit. Because they need to know. People need to know. That the government, the police stations are abusing their power. And it's not like we're going to be believing. We're not. I, I'm definitely not going to be believing for anything. I'm borderline on, on suicide watch so many damn times. I'm not going to believe anything I have to say. You know, Jason said he didn't want me to be charged. He said, I don't want her charged. What happened? Nothing happened. Like, that's, I'm like in handcuffs and that's what he's telling the police. Nothing happened. What are you doing? <sighs> Can you really arrest someone when both parties are saying nothing happened? Other than a minor scuffle. I got mad. Slapped him across the face. How do you say in one breath, yeah, I slapped him in his face, and in another breath say, they made it up and, and the government's against us and that's why I was arrested? You just admitted to why you were arrested, you fucking stunad. He was fine with it. And then I had a panic attack and I needed to get help. I needed to, I needed to go to the mental ward. And I'll start in jail. No. Well, they asked me about the whip, the sex toy I had. I was like, yeah, we have a, a sex toy. It's a whip, it's a sex toy. Do you hit him with it? Well, yeah, that's how you use a whip. But it's consensual. Slapping him across the face and hitting him with a fetish whip was consensual for, for Jason? Really? I find that very hard to believe that you were hitting him as hard as you could with your hands and a whip, and he's totally fine with it. Hey. <laughs> really? And he said it was consensual, too, so it's like... I mean, it's not like when we whip each other, we whip each other hard. We don't. But no, I'm definitely suing. I'm suing the fuck out of them. They can't get away with this. What you do in your bedroom is your business, and they can't charge you for that. So that's illegal. I know! I know! This is why I need to get a lawyer. And then begin on Monday, it's just... You can see I'm just constantly getting called. So, yeah. Fuck them. Illegally detain me. Make me naked. Put me on suicide watch. All I said is I want to be with Jesus. And that's what got... <laughs> I told you guys that's what she said. I knew she was going to say, I want to be with Jesus. Anyone would take that as I want to die. So that is a suicidal statement that you made, which is why you got put in suicide watch in one of those like blanky things that you can't hurt yourself with and that's why she was put in there naked with the one of those covering her up alone in a cell because she made comments like i want to go see jesus right now i don't want to live ba, 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 ba. same shit different day the cops weren't falling for it you don't get to go to the mental hospital you get put in the suicide watch room i'm enough to put me on suicide watch i'm done with this world i just want to be with jesus that's not suicidal talk. That's Christian talk. How many fucking Christians have said that? I don't want to be here. I want to be with Jesus. It doesn't mean they're going to slit their freaking wrists. It means you guys are assholes and I don't want to be around you guys anymore. That's what it means. 
I'm going to be picking them up soon. I'll be leaving in about 20 minutes. I still got to get my car from um, Valet. But ultimately, if you think about it, the DA has no case. Because if both parties are saying it didn't go down the way the police claimed it went down, what case do you have? The police don't claim it went down anyway. The police wear body cams, which shows exactly how everything went down. And don't think the DA didn't view it because they did. Stop lying. You can go make up something and say it happened that way, and then both parties are saying it didn't happen that way. We're going to by the system. Period. All I wanted was to go and get some help. Get my fucking head straight. Go to therapy. Go to the mental ward. That's what I needed. Not from naked on a fucking concrete floor. So all the fucking male inmates can go fucking watch me be naked on a fucking floor. Fuck that shit. I'm suing the fuck out of them for that. Fuck that shit. I have every right to go. They're violating my religious rights by that. By me saying I'm sick of this place, I want to go see Jesus. That's going against my religious rights. We all know you said, I want to go see Jesus, so they would take you to the hospital, and then maybe you can get some Ativan out of it, but that didn't go down now, did it? Are you kidding me? I can't say I want to see Jesus without some fucking dumb cops saying I'm suicidal! I have to wait till Monday for the lawyers. It's Friday. No, I'm not calling a lawyer. I'm going to a lawyer's office. They'll take that money right away. I'll be like, boom, there. Have fun with retaining money. Get the shit taken off my fucking record. And let's sue the fuck out of them. Because I got no fucking rights. I had no rights. When you're arrested, Shannon, all your rights go out the window. Your freedom is gone. That's the point of jail. They take your freedoms away to punish you. That's how that works in the justice system. I have to wait till Monday because that's when the money in the bank will come through. The thing is, with stocks and bonds and stuff, it takes roughly a business day in order for the exchange of the money from trading stock goes into it. So I do have to wait till Monday for the money anyway. So, but I'll get it. I'll get it. Don't worry. Got twenty five grand coming my way, and then what I'm going to do also Monday is I'm going to pay that bond, that twenty five hundred dollar bond. Now, the thing is, I can get that money back if they dismiss the case, but I'm just going to pay it just so they have it on record that I have it. Um, but I just want to relax and chill. This whole thing is bullshit. How it went down. Like, I don't, I don't think, I don't think the police should have the right to press charges without the parties consenting to the charges. Like, if I stabbed him, I would understand. But when people said nothing happened and they spoke charges, I want my husband. I want my husband back. He needs me. There was no marks, though. The one cop literally showed the other cop the marks on his leg from the fetish whip. Where are you getting your bullshit information from? There was no marks. Like, this is what they do. This is how they make their money, I guess, here. This is how the police make their money. They, they see a, a call of, I need help. I don't know what to do. I need help. Please, my mind isn't working right. Please, I need help. Take me to the hospital. <laughs> Why didn't the court undo the restraining order? Because the county put the restraining order on. And and I know Jason's trying to get it off. I'm trying to get it off. They're going to have to. They can't keep doing this shit. It has to be for the money. I can't see any reason why they do this. Other than jacking people off money this way. I guarantee you, your arrest had absolutely nothing to do with the cops' paychecks, okay? So, figure it out, dumbass. Like, someone asks for help, and you throw them in jail. Someone asks for mental health. Mental health. I have to be a TI or MK Ultra or something. I, can't, I don't, I, I can't, or... Yes, you are a targeted individual 
the Masons are involved. Um, is the Illuminati involved at any time or any point in this fairy tale you're telling? I guess not too many Masons or something. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know. But the government does watch the channel too. That's kind of interesting to know that the government is watching my channel. Hi, government. You like hearing from me? <laughs> this is all you're going to get is me trying to explain my feelings. All the channels are going to be me talking about myself. So if you really need to go and explore the inner realms of my mind, government, go ahead. This is all you're going to get is me whining and complaining and saying, you're railroading me and I want my husband. Thank you very much. And we will go broke, by the way, government, just to be together. Oh, you're going to go broke. But it's not because it, you two were held apart and want to be together. It's because you're extremely irresponsible with money. Because we are Romeo and Juliet. And we have gone through so much to be together. You, you think this is going to stop it? Think it's going to stop the relationship by doing this? For Romeo and Juliet, as soon as this court case is done and over with, I'm gone. I'm not staying in the state. And, and probably we'll take the leftover money we have and probably move out of the country. I think this is when they started uh, saying that they lived in Tokyo. <laughs> I think this is around that time. <laughs> Tokyo, Colorado. I'm done being fucking harassed by the government. And, and probably we'll take the leftover money we have and probably move out of the country. Because I'm done being fucking harassed by the government. I'm done. I haven't tried to come in my life and just put me in one court system after another court system. You know, and they do this. They do this because they do this purposely because they know I have borderline personality disorder. And they know they can make a lot of money off me. This is the most asinine statement I have ever heard. One of them that I've ever heard come out of her mouth. That's ridiculous. And I've been going through this type of stuff my whole life. Because I know they can make money from me. You know, I'm not emotionally regulated. So, you know, because I have a problem regulating my emotions, I'm so easily susceptible. Hold on, I'm going to make a phone call. I need to get some sleep. I really need to get some sleep. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. I need I need sleep. I'm, I need to get a hold of her. I can't get a hold of her. I may have the boys here tonight. It's just fine. I'm sure they'll just... I don't have any of their stuff or computers or anything. I'm going to be fucking miserable. What the hell happened to G-Man and his channel marked by God? Someone tell me what happened. It's like his channel's dead. It's gone. It's not even on his pile of channels. It's usually like, the first one is usually marked by God, the true imperialism, but it's not like that. It's gone. It's still GTV. What did he do? What killed his channel? Did he kill his channel? <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm just silent right now. I'm so sorry. I'm just going through so fucking much right now. I need a break. I need a break. I need I need to rest. I really do. And now I gotta pick up the boys, and I'm, I don't even know if I have the energy for that. Wow. You don't know if you even have the energy in you to go pick up your children. After being in jail all night, you can't muster up the energy to go pick up your own fucking kids. That's how scary I am right now. That's how scared I am right now. It's like, I need some rest. I need some sleep. I'm gonna go. I'll let you guys go. You have a good day. I'll be back probably later. So again, for my newbies, I uh, I wanted to show you what Shiny behaved like and the story she told of why she was arrested. Um, that video was put out before um, the body cam footage of the arrest was actually shown online. And all of her lies went right down the drain because it was very easy to see exactly what happened. They went, they went to the movies, they got extremely obliviated, they had their children with them, they then went home, Rev wanted to leave to go get a Baja Blast. <laughs> and um, she wouldn't let him drive. That whole 911 conversation was 100% taken. 
to get Rev in trouble, not her. She wasn't asking for mental health. She wasn't doing, she wasn't saying there was anything wrong with her. It was all his fault. He was the aggressor. He was the drunk. He was the monster. But in reality, what happened? She got arrested. And those cops did a very thorough investigation, which like I have promised you, I'm going to do this whole arrest video um, so you guys can see it. It's just too good. It's just too good. But watching this was even better because watching her try to justify why she would put her hands on her boyfriend at all, um, she will take zero accountability. She will never say, yeah, I fucked up and I was drunk and I put my hands on him and I should have never done that and I will never do that again. Instead of that, she's going to now blame the government wants them apart, the government knows she has BID, uh, it's MK Ultra. it's the Masons, it's never her, right? It's never Shani's fault. Nothing that ever happens to Shani is Shani's fault. It's always someone else's, even the government. She, it's, that, it's even their fault she gets in trouble and gets arrested. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, I'm off today, so I had time to finish this. Today's June 1st, and we are going to see if they are still there. <laughs> I guarantee you they are. I don't think they went anywhere. Um, I think that was just a lie that Shani made up to get more donations. But um, anyway, it's finally Thursday. We have one more day to the weekend. And I hope you guys have a great Thursday. I will be back later with um, another uh, Shani video. But I wanted to get this up for you guys so you could laugh along with me. Because... Not one statement she made in that whole video was a fact. Nothing. So anyway, have a wonderful day, guys. I love you all. And I will be back soon. And I will talk to you then. Have a great day.